Okay, ladies, I'm back. Another day, another podcast. Welcome to the Mom is in Control show. I'm Heather Chauvin, and by now you should know who I am. But if this, for some reason, is the first podcast that you were listening to, welcome. Mom is in Control is all about helping you feel, F-E-E-L, in control of your life. And I speak from my own personal experience, my professional background as a social worker who specialized in child development, um, but more as a woman and a human being just trying to figure out how to feel in alignment in my life. From having stage four cancer to being a teenage mom to postpartum depression and learning how to raise my three very different boys, I am here and determined to change the culture of motherhood. Anywhere we go, we see women thriving through struggle. What does that mean? To me, thriving through struggle is this badge of honor that we've kind of labeled as exhaustion, misery, depression, overwhelm. What else? What else? Hiding behind our children and our partners and our careers. Needless to say, forgetting to do the hard, uncomfortable work that creates freedom in our lives. So whether it's more time that you want, time for yourself, time for your children, whether it's more financial security so that you can sleep better at night or make a difference in the world and give more, or whether it's just the emotional freedom that you crave, or whether you want to feel really good in your mind, in your body, in your soul, just know that you are in the right place. So today I want to talk about, um, I don't really know what I want to talk about. Sometimes I plan things and sometimes I don't. But there was this quote that I seen from Gandhi and I thought it was really cool. Um, just kind of based off of what I'm personally diving into these days. And, um, and I'll, I'll tell you what it is in a second. So here's the quote. It's the action, not the fruit of the action, that's important. You have to do the right thing. It may not be in your power, may it not be in your time, that there there will be any fruit. Okay, guys, let me redo this. And I never edit myself on these podcasts because this is real life. Why edit? We edit way too much in our lives. So let me read this again. It's the action, not the fruit of the action that's important. You have to do the right thing. It may not be in your power, may not be in your time that there'll be any fruit, but that doesn't mean you have to stop doing the right thing. You may never know what results come from your actions, but if you do nothing, there will be no result. Gandhi. Perfect. That was awesome. Good job, Heather. Pat on the back. Okay. So this morning I was taking my kids, um, actually I wasn't taking my kids anywhere. I got up and I said, okay, Heather, you're in the middle of February and it's cold outside. You don't want to work out, but you got to move your body. And instead of getting up and doing a 20 minute workout in my living room, I decided to get up and take my dog for a walk, uh, just to move my body, get some fresh air and get the day started on a positive note. I've also decided to do a juice cleanse this weekend, so I'm trying to keep myself really busy because all I can think about is food. Even though I'm not hungry, I notice how often we eat just because we're bored. So needless to say, I'm bringing my dog for a walk, and I look around, and there's no snow on the ground, but it's cold, and all of a sudden I see garbage everywhere, absolutely everywhere. And I'm like, was I blind to this before? Where did this come from? Like, Mounds and mounds of garbage, like looking down, seeing beer cans, and I'm like, this is shit. This is awful. So I brought the dog back, went for a walk, came back home, and my kids were watching TV, and two out of the three were up watching TV, and then my oldest was was still sleeping. So I got everyone up. I said, listen, do you want to go to Tim Hortons? And if you have no idea what Tim Hortons is, that's literally like the Starbucks of Canada. So I'm like, guys, do you want to go to Tim Hortons for breakfast? Yeah, yeah, mom, I want to go. I want to go. I said, get your coat on, get your shoes on. We're going. So then my mom decides to come. My husband decides to come. So we're all, all of us, except for the dog, are going on this walk. And I bring some garbage bags with me. And the kids are like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm picking up garbage. 
they're like, oh, my teenager's like, oh my God, mom, you were so embarrassing. And I didn't care. I just kept picking it up. I kept picking it up, picking it up. And then my mom looks at me. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm picking up garbage. And so I started picking up the garbage first. And at first you could see that they were uncomfortable and I was testing this, right? I'm watching this whole process as an experiment. One, I decided I'm going for a walk and I made that declaration. I'm like, come on guys. Of course, I totally bribed them with sugary donuts and whatever the hell else they wanted to eat for breakfast, but I didn't freaking care. I'm like, whatever I can do to get them out of the house. And so I get them out of the house and, um, I start picking up the garbage. I have some extra gloves in my hands. I'm like, here, put a glove on pick up the garbage. No, I don't want to. I'm like, that's fine. So I just keep picking up the garbage, looking like a bag lady on the way to, you know, the coffee shop. By the time we got to the coffee shop, we had, our bag was full, like full to the brim. And this is like a big ass black garbage bag. So we couldn't even pick up all the garbage that we wanted to on the way. We, so the kids by that time were really excited. They're like, Oh my God, there's another piece. And they grab another piece. Teenager wouldn't do anything, which was fine. So I gave them the Um, I gave Logan, the 14 year old, I gave him the bag of garbage and he went and put it in, um, the dumpster. And then we went out, we got to the coffee shop, we did our, you know, morning breakfast thing. And then on the, on the way leaving, I said, Hey, can I have, I asked, um, the coffee shop, can I please have two more black garbage bags? I said, you know, there's a lot of garbage outside. We're picking it up. They're like, yeah, no problem. Here you go. So on our way back, we finished with the fence, um, that we kind of stopped, we ran out of garbage bag. So we finished that at the end of this long winded story that I'm trying to tell you is we ended up filling three humongous garbage bags full of garbage on a 10 minute walk. And one, it made me feel really good because I knew I was making a difference Two, unconsciously I didn't make my children do anything. I invited them into an opportunity to create change. And three, everyone felt amazing about themselves after. Now, I'm not going to make my kids pick up garbage every single time we go for a walk. But the truth is, how many times do we see an opportunity for change in our lives and we choose to live blindly? Or how many times do we say, oh, I'm going to do this because this is going to be the fruit of my labor. And I get so many questions from parents writing to me saying, how do I raise successful, resilient, kind, empathetic children? And the truth is you have to become that person you wish to see in the world. And that, that my dear is another quote from Gandhi. But it's true. It's absolutely true. We cannot, cannot show up in our parenting with an expectation that I'm doing this because I am guaranteed results in my child. I have three boys. They are three very different boys. And I know that if I raise them the exact same way, they're going to grow up to be three very different people. So I need to become unattached to the outcome. I need to just show up every day as who I want them to become and know that that action will drive a result. I don't need to be so attached to the outcome to know if I do X, Y will happen. That's why I love this quote from Gandhi that I started this podcast with. It's the action, not the fruit of the action that's important. You have to do the right thing. It may not be in your power. It may not be in your time that there will be any fruit. But that doesn't mean you stop doing the right thing. You may never know what results come from your actions. But if you do nothing, there will be no result. So today, my random acts of kindness and exposing my children to that, exposing my husband to that, exposing my mother to that, maybe the people that were driving by, we even had a few people making a comment of like, oh my God, that's so awesome of you. You never know how your actions are impacting other people around you. You you may never know. 
But just know if you do nothing, if you're chronically looking outside saying, I want this for my child. I want that for my child. I want this for that person. You need to become that person in order to make an impact. That's all I got for you today, ladies. Talk soon.